it was good everybody so um you know this isn't a video that i'm really happy to make um you know but it is what it is so um you know i have this other channel um i actually had kind of dropped this channel for a while and i was work focused on another channel where I, you know i was doing like exploring abandoned places and vlog kind of stuff and um you know just more like personal stuff i was growing that channel and then this one kind of blew up out of nowhere so i've been back on this channel but i got to notice that you know one of my videos had been age restricted and so on my old channel earlier this year two of my songs had gotten age restricted and it didn't make sense to me the songs didn't cuss there was nothing but I figured it out, you know. It was actually kind of a scary thing because there were songs from like 2017, videos from 2017, where I had things about protesting, you know, like Standing Rock, this and that. And at the time, earlier this year, when they got age restricted, which means I can't monetize, they won't even come up on your feed if you're under 18. So automatically everyone under 18 won't even be able to see it. It won't pop up on their feed. I think you have to have like the direct link. So there's all these things. See, it makes it less visible to people, right? So it seems like that's what they wanted to do because at that time, there was a lot of stuff about the Minnesota, Minnesota, right? If I'm not mistaken, you know, the, the line three, the, you know, they were protesting over there. So, you know, that's the power of that oil, right? Like that they were able to make YouTube find in, in you know, even go back to 2017 songs, videos that didn't even have like 500 views or just over. You know, I made the whole video. I'll put a link about it, you know, in the description so you guys could, um, so you guys could, um, you know, check it out because it was like 20 minutes long, right? I was describing everything. So, um, you know, the power of oil that they were able to, hey, um, this, uh, you know, look up anything that has to do with protests and you know standing rock or you know against all that stuff right so so you know youtube did it and so i showed examples of things that weren't age restricted i went and showed like you know some super violent bloody scenes that wap video with cardi b you know which means wet a you know whatever you know what it means uh, i won't say it on this one i said it in the other video i made but you know just so this one doesn't get age restricted <clears throat> or anything like that right so, you know, I showed all these examples. And, you know, even like that little Nas, I didn't put him in there, but, you know, even that little Nas X character, you know, like his videos are crazy. You know, I wouldn't want my kids to see it personally. So, you know, when I saw that, like, uh, like that wasn't even rage restricted. I think I saw it after, right? But, you know, I had already made like 10 examples just to show very clearly that my songs with no bad words, no, nothing like that. They were age restricted, but I knew it had to do with that, right? There was a timing and everything. I figured it out. Oh yeah, because first one was hit and I was already making the video. And in the process of making the video, I got another notification that another song without no bad words that had things of the protest had been blocked, right? Age restricted, right? So, you know, again, <clears throat> it's less visible. You can't monetize it, all that stuff, right? So so it's to discourage you from making videos like that, right? That's the whole thing. It's a censorship, you know, trying to put put you in line, right? Like comply. You, you've been like, if you pay attention, you'll be hearing that word a lot right now, comply. You know, it's funny because there's this old movie, The Running Man of Arnold Schwarzenegger from like the 80s, right? And uh, there's this scene. Uh, so there's this scene where it's like, I'm almost sure that's the movie, but it's one of those movies with that kind of stuff. And it's like failure to comply, failure to comply. Like, I think they're trying to get a guy or they're killing him or something because failure to comply, right? And I heard this um, politician or mayor or something or, or something in one of these states or cities, oh, some well-known one, but they were like, oh, this is what, like to, for you to comply, right? Because that's the whole agenda or goal for you to comply, for you to be quiet, fall in line, and just comply with whatever the agenda is, right? Cities across the country are, are, are already implementing this. And once it gets to the point that it is part of the culture, part of the standard expectation, there's much less direct um, challenge in, in compliance. And even things like YouTube, we I guess we think like, oh, it's freedom and all, but it, you know, 
it, it really now it's gonna become more visible they're pushing it to, the, to their agenda right whoever right uh and sometimes it's just people i guess maybe you know haters or whatever that just want it doesn't fit their narrative but again they, you know and them killing your freedom of speech they're gonna kill their own as well so it's gonna always empower the people above right not the people fighting for scraps and stuff right so i'm getting to this song so this song is uh it's a song called Brown Fist, right? Um, it's it's surprisingly, even though this, and this video only has 70 views. Actually, when I saw it, it had 69 views, and I guess that became the 70, 70th one, right? Uh, it's probably one of my most asked about songs, but, uh, you know, it's from 2018. And then I just got the thing, like, hey, this this has been age-restricted. So I want to look up, you know, I looked up Ice-T's Cop Killer song from, like, I think it was the... Maybe early 90s, 80s, I don't even know. No age restriction. I looked for it on another thing. No age restriction. Cop killer. You know what I mean? And again, all the other stuff I said. The WAP, the little Nas X characters videos. All this stuff. No age restrictions. But mine, with no bad words. That version, I actually did a no bad word version. Because people ask me about that song so much. The original version, you know, it, it, it was like... Um, I think I did it when I came back from Stanley Rock. It was very pro... You know, cultural, very, you know, stand, stand in your power, stand in your truth kind of thing. So it was very culturally, um, what's, what's a good word for it? Well, you know, it was very pro-cultural, you know what I mean? It was like for my people, right? Like to stand up, put your brown fist up, right? That That's what the song uh, is pretty much tailored around, right? Uh, fighting injustice, right? So it was very a fighting injustice kind of song. You know, at that time, you know, that's kind of what sparked it, right? Having just come back from from, from pretty blunt and blatant racism, faced, you know, facing it up there. People openly admitting to it. So this can't be, you can't really argue about it. Like you could, but, it, you know, it wouldn't be a bad, it'd be more of an, an emotional argument. You'd be arguing with me because your stance is emotional. Like this is how you feel. So... This is what you want to say, but I saw it. Like I experienced it with my own eyes. There was no question about it. So when I came back, having faced all that racism and everything, that's kind of one of the things that um that inspired the song, right? To make a song "Brown Fist" about uh, you know the cultural cultural pride and cultural you know facing injustice, all that. To cut it short, um, so anyways, this song. It was asked about so much that you know the the original version. It was more explicit, right? So. I was like, you know what? I want everybody to feel empowered, even kids and this and that. So I made it more people friendly and I uploaded it to YouTube. That's the one I uploaded that only has like 70 views. And then when people would ask me for it, I'd send it to them free. Like, oh, what's your email? I'd send them the MP3. So that's probably why, you know, I shot myself in the foot in that way that it's not, it didn't get a lot of views on YouTube, but I would send it to people because they really liked it. I don't think, you know, it's one of those songs that's been asked about. Probably more than most of my songs, you know, out of all the songs. That one just really, I guess, uh, people did feel empowered when they would listen to it. So anyways, uh, so yeah, that's the song. Uh, I just got the age restriction, um, you know. And like I said, I looked up right away. I thought, what's the worst kind of song that I could think of? And you know, I like Ice-T as much as the next person, but I just thought it's funny that I would get age restricted, but not a song that is actually violent because youtube doesn't tell you and i could fight it but i don't even want to for what it has 70 views it actually made me want to put a link and just just be like here if you want to download it for free take the take the song like i don't even care uh you know because it kind of upset me that but it's interesting you know i don't know what the agenda is right now towards that because i know the other ones it was obvious it was because of the you know they had protest in it and this and that this one i'm not sure what youtube is doing right now what kind of algorithm why they targeted that song you know what i mean because like i said i could go look through all kinds of things that by definition by their thing that probably should be age restricted that aren't but whatever it's fine i'll take it um i just thought it was interesting i'd make a video about it so i'll put a link to the other one i had made the 20 minute video uh about the other ones how i went into detail showing you how you know all that um and that's it, yeah, I'll put a link to the Brown Fist song so you can check it out, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, no bad words. It is very more, like, empowering. So I don't know if it was just someone hating and they're like, you know, 
they didn't like me talking about being proud of being brown and all this and that and they decided that it was inappropriate and YouTube agreed with them so um, you know whatever I said my piece and uh, yeah thanks for watching you know hope you guys uh, enjoyed this um, you know don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff and uh, yeah peace